in today's video, I'm going to do a makeup look which is inspired by Deepika Padukone in her recent poster uh, from her web series called uh, Gehraiya. So if you have been following me for quite some time now, you guys know that I have already created a lot of uh, celebrity inspired makeup looks. Uh, I will attach the playlist here in case if you are interested to look for any other looks. It's been quite a lot of months since I have done one so I thought why not do this look. Very light and also everybody can actually recreate this look. If you are interested please keep on watching. And before getting into the video if you guys are new and looking at this face for the first time. Hello guys my name is Ramya and I make beauty and lifestyle content on YouTube here and uh, please do take time and hit the red subscribe button and also give a like to this video so that I can create more such looks for you guys. Uh, so without any further delay, let's straight away get into the video. <music> very very natural look so it's very important to start with skin prep so the first step in skin prepping is nothing but using a very nice cleanser that suits your skin and cleanse your face well so second step is nothing but toning your face toning can be done by using a facial mist um, or you can also use a nice toner that suits your skin this is Kama Ayurveda's pure rose water it's actually a sample size which I got free from buying a lot of their products. If you have seen my last haul, you will know from where this came. So I am just going to spritz it all over my face and let it sit for a minute. Now that the toner is all absorbed on my skin, then the next step or the third step I have over here is moisturizing. So for today's moisturizer, I'm going to use this one. This is Aqualogica's Hydrate Plus Gel Moisturizer. The thing I don't like about this particular moisturizer is the fragrance. Uh, the hydration aspect of this is really great. But the fragrance is something I really really hate in this product uh, which makes actually people with sensitive skin and sensitive nose not to use this product so yeah let's give this two minutes so that this moisturizer is getting set into our skin the last step for our skin prep so facial oil is very very important in this kind of makeup look so that your face looks still fresh and very natural that's the reason we are using a facial oil even though your skin looks tired or dull using a facial oil will actually make your skin look very very luminous and great so yeah that's the reason for step number four in case you don't want to do this step you can skip it but me personally will ask you to do this step in case you're trying for a no makeup makeup kind of look or a very natural like coverage look make sure you prep your skin well so yeah the oil I'm going to use is so this is the color bar cellular dry oil and also one thing you should keep in mind whenever you're using oil don't go overboard make sure you're just going for one two and three this is a very very light oil guys still I'm going with just three drops uh, just to give my skin an overall glow so I'm just going to pat this oil all over my face so as you guys can see all that three drops of oil magically absorbed into my skin and gives you a nice glow as you guys can see clearly my skin does have a lot of blemish acne marks acne i still have active acne in here all these are still there in my face but still you can see it is looking fresh and glowy so before starting the makeup i'm going to use a lip balm a little bit of it on my lips by the way this is baby lips from maybelline and the shade here is cherry kiss so yeah the next step i'm going to do here is concealer so i am starting with concealer so that i can actually you know take off all the pigmentation in case you have deep dark circles make sure you're using a corrector and then do your concealer so i'm going to take a bit of concealer and uh, see where i need more coverage and apply it there the concealer i'm using this l'oreal paris infallible full wear concealer in the shade 317 almond so this is actually a very full uh, full wear concealer or full coverage concealer so i'm not gonna take a lot of it 
um, I'm just trying to cover with a little bit of concealer. Pimple over here and the marks over here. Also around my mouth. This is pack 265. Uh, I'm going to stamp it and blend it. my foundation so for foundation I am using foundation I am using Maybelline Matte Plus Poreless Foundation in the shade 310 Sun Beige for foundation I am just taking half a pump of foundation just dot it wherever necessary look more natural I'm going to go over with a sponge wet sponge nothing no product in this I'm just going to tap it like this so that it takes up or soaks up excess of product so the next step is nothing but straight away I'm going to do my brows if you look at the picture of Deepika the brows is completely done like completely filled and uh, it looks a little more bold so I'm going to do the same elf instant lift brow pencil in the shade dark brown I'm going to do nothing but just fill in completely and going to brush through using the spoolie behind between two brows right I'm going to do this brow and be right back so the next thing I'm going to do is straight away the eyes so if you look at this particular picture over here this zoom in and look her eyes is actually a little bit contoured contoured in the sense like they have used a brown transition shade in the lower lash line and also in the crease line use a little bit of kajal and lightly smudged it near to the lash line so for that I'm just going to use my bronzer as that brown transition shade. I'm using Bahama Mama bronzer. So this is how the shade looks like. More color I'm taking and I'm placing it in the outer corner. Also a little bit in the inner corner. going to connect it whatever is remaining nothing extra I'm going to take as you can see it looks very very natural so this will give you that natural contour and since you are applying a lot of product over here in the outer half it makes your eyes look a little more lifted and natural do the same in the lower lash line as you guys can see the difference let's see the difference between both the eyes so this is the eye without any bronzer or any makeup and this is the eye after it's done whole pencil I'm using the Mama Earth Kajal pencil be sure that I'm just going to do only near to the lash line You see this is the final eye look I'm going to recreate the same over here and be right back the next thing I forgot to do is to set my concealer under my eyes so for that I'm using this one this is the Nykaa all day matte compact powder in the shade sand I'm not going to set my entire face I am just going to set my under eyes so I'm just taking a brush something like this and set my under eyes looks like she doesn't have any uh, fake eyelashes and uh, they have enhanced her natural lash just by curling it and applying some mascara so I'm going to do the same I'm using a curler really lash sensational mascara I have over here is a waterproof mascara I'm going to take the excess off again As you can see 
see the difference it makes before I come to my face I'm just going to tell you one thing here so Deepika's actually the bone structure is very lean she's very lean and she has a lot of cuts and uh, things going on in her face uh, whereas mine as you guys can see I'm a very chubby girl so you can't expect the you know proportions to look the same on my face so I'm just going to see what they have done to her face to make it sculpted I'm just going to follow the same as you guys can see near her jawline over here she has a strong bronze bronze kind of contour going this is not actually a cool toned contour as you guys can see it's a little bit warm tone so that it looks natural so she has contoured from here and here and a little bit of her temples this is makeup revolutions fast base in the shade f14 might look a little more harsh what I'm going to do next is what is going to make it natural so I'm going to use a sponge and make it natural you can see how nicely blended and natural it looks right now if you look at this part of my face it looks a little more structured whereas this part looks straight up flat and look at this the next step I'm going to do is just contour my nose she doesn't look like she has a nose contour but my nose is a little go more a little more like a chubby nose so I'm just going to try and slender it slightly down can see it makes a lot of difference it has slendered a bit down so yeah so this is how my nose looks like I'm just going to soften the contour so the next step I have over here is nothing but the blush they have they have applied a lot of blush on her cheeks and it looks a really nice pink shade so I'm going to try and do the same. This is Face Shop's watery tint in the shade Pink Bella. This is one of the tint which is there in this pink color with me. I don't have any other thing. If you don't have any lip tints or uh, you know a nice pink shade, you can also use your lipstick as a blush. I am going to apply the blush is similar to hers. So they have started from her temples and diffused it till this place. I'm going over with this one whatever I apply on my cheeks I go over with this one so that excess products will get picked up right now if you see it looks very natural the pink looks very very natural one thing I feel is a little bit missing is uh, you know the glow on the face on her face I don't see any kind of highlighter going on but really looks fresh and a little bit glowy so I'm just going to use this illuminator this is from the inside cosmetics inside cosmetics insta illuminator this is in the shade luminous so this looks very very natural the first thing I'm going to show here is in the nose just apply it to your nose and just see how natural the glow is it's not like any kind of a chunky highlighter as you guys can see it looks very natural it looks more natural and luminous as you guys can see my face up close this is how the illuminator looks like it gives you that natural glow like a glow from within to try and define my cupid bow and also my lower uh, lips so that it looks more fuller so i'm just using this lip liner from bet and wild in the shade chestnut so as you guys can see now you can see the upper part of my lips i'm just going to blend the lip liner a little bit 
so this is how my lips look after the lip liner so the shade of her lipstick it looks more like a muted pink shade for that the lipstick i have over here is from nika nika all day matte liquid lipstick in the shade soul sister apply it a little bit onto my lips and blend it out using my fingers what this would do is it will give you the natural finish so guys this is our final look as you guys can see this looks very very natural and it's very appropriate for you know everyday wear as well and in case you want to look put together for any meetings or anything this is the best look i should say so i'm very very happy with the recreation i hope this video would have been helpful for you guys in case you find this video helpful please make sure you hit that like button and also please do share this video with your friends and family on your social media pages yeah see you on my next video until then take care bye bye